What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be covering how you can install permanent custom themes onto your jailbroken PS4 and create your own permanent themes as well. So up until now we've been able to do kind of fake package themes, custom themes, but you would lose it every time you restarted the PS4. So that now we can actually, you know, create our own themes and make them permanent so when you restart the PS4 the theme will remain, you will not lose it. So that's a big improvement. We have been able to do that in the past with official themes from Sony, but this time we can do it with our own custom themes as well and make them permanent. So there's a few tools that allow us to do this. One that allows you to apply a bunch of pre-made custom themes and another tool that will allow you to create your own custom themes that are, that are also permanent. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that here in this video. So, so if we switch over to the computer, we're going to need to download the latest version of Orbis FTP. And I've got a bunch of other tools here. There's the PS4 tool set, the homebrew app that goes along with that. And we also have the PS4 themes app as well, which will allow us to apply some pre-made custom themes. We'll take a look at that one first because it's easier to apply. So first of all, we need Orbis FTP because that gives us full read and write access to the hard drive over FTP, which the other FTP payloads and the built-in FTP in Gold Hen do not provide. So that's important. Uh, because what this basically does is we're just replacing the files on the hard drive. We're not really using custom themes. We're just replacing the icons on the hard drive directly and then applying a background image to it to finish off the theme. That's essentially how this works. So because the files on the hard drive have been replaced, then rebooting the PS4 will not reset them back to normal. So you essentially have a permanent theme. So what we're going to do here is put this on the root of a USB drive. So grab a USB drive, make sure the USB drive is of course formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. And we're just going to copy Orbis FTP onto the root of the drive. Now for the PS4 themes application, we're going to open this up, create a new folder called PS4 themes. And we'll just extract the contents here of this zip file into that folder. And then from there, there's a images folder here for the background images, which contains all the different background images for the themes. So what we want to do here is just copy it and paste that onto the root of the USB drive as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we'll eject the drive and plug it back into the PS4. OK, so on the PS4, of course, we're going to load up the Internet browser and go on your exploit host, whichever one you're using, like caro218.ir. And then we're going to go to the manual host down here and run the gold hen payload to jailbreak the PS4. Once you've got your PS4 jailbroken, we can then go to settings. We can go to gold hen and go to package installer or debug settings, game package installer. And then we can run the package file here or install the package file rather uh, onto the PS4. And that gets us Orbis FTP. Now this is just the Orbis FTP installer. So we're going to run this. And that will essentially create the Orbis FTP app and get everything set up. So it adds it to downloads. And then there we go. We now have Orbis FTP. Uh, so I guess it deletes the installer, but sometimes it fails to delete the installer. So if the installer is still there, delete the installer. So you just have the Orbis FTP app. So of course, you want to make sure that you are connected to your network on your PS4, that you have a valid IP address if you go to system information. And also make sure that you have disabled the FTP setting inside Gold Hen, because we're not going to be using the Gold Hen FTP, we're going to be using Orbis FTP. So we're going to run Orbis FTP. And then we should get the notification that it's loaded. And then we'll get the IP address and port number there showing up in the top left. So now we can switch back over to our computer to apply the themes. So we're going to go to PS4 themes, we're going to run the EXE. So if we go to about, you can see the people who are involved here in creating this app. So what we want to do here is enter the IP address, of course, of your PS4 in the IP box up here, PS4 IP. And then we can just apply whatever theme we want. So there's quite a few themes here. You've got a PS5 theme, a Gold Hen theme, GTA 5, God of War, GTA 4, Spider-Man, Far Cry 6, Horizon, Horizon Forbidden West, Red Dead Redemption, watchdogs and a bunch of fonts as well. So for example, one thing I've noticed with this version of the tool is that the GTA font doesn't seem to work. So we won't do the GTA 5 theme. I'll probably show you all the different themes at some point in the video. But for example here, 
we'll do the Watch Dogs theme because I actually think this one uh, is actually pretty good, even though I don't really care about Watch Dogs. It's not a game I'm interested in, but I do think this theme looks quite nice. So let's go ahead and install it. So we're just going to click all and click yes. And then that is going to write all of these different image files, all the different function icons. It's going to write and replace the ones on the hard drive with these ones and also the content icons. And of course, you can always go back to normal by just applying the normal theme over here in the left if you ever want to reset it back to normal. So Watchdog theme has been sent. You can now restart the PS4. We'll click OK. And then we can go to fonts and apply the Watchdogs font to go along with that theme. So we'll click Watchdogs and click Yes. And that will apply the font as well. Okay, so now if we switch back over to the PS4, you'll notice that nothing has changed apart from the fact that it looks like the font has broken because if you look at this, uh, all of the settings and everything, it's all, it's all garbled up. We don't have any clean text. So when I went into settings here and I pressed circle, you can see it's kind of crashed and it goes to a black screen. Now this can happen sometimes. It's actually good if this happens because it resets everything without you having to restart the PS4. Um, so if you do go into the settings menu and it crashes like this, then it's good because like I say, you don't need to restart the PS4. So it's just applied the theme. Uh, if you can't get it to do that black screen thing by going into the settings, then I recommend just restarting the PS4 like the tool recommends and then that will refresh everything. Um, but yeah, if you can get it to crash to a black screen, then it's actually good because then you don't have to run the jailbreak again or restart the PS4 and everything has been applied here. So the only thing that's missing is the background image. So to apply the background image, we go into the settings, we go down to themes and then we go to select theme, custom theme, and then we're going to go to select image. And then from there, it will give us USB storage device. So we'll select that. And then it will give us all of the icons that we put on the USB drive in that images folder. And we just find the one that matches the theme that we're using. In this case, it's the Watchdogs one up here. So we'll select that and then we are good to go. And then we can also select a color as well to go with the theme, whichever one you want. I think this one probably will work best. So we'll select that and apply. And now we have the theme applied right there, as you can see. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. I think it looks pretty good. In fact, we'll add this to the folder, to the homebrew folder. And uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. And it's pretty awesome that you can actually get custom fonts as well. The font looks really good too. So I can hold down the power button. You've got the quick access icons are all customized as well. And uh, yeah, you've got the function icons all customized as well as the settings all customized with the custom font and icons. So that is how you apply the custom theme right there. I do think it looks better than like traditional themes because of the, the custom font. But uh, yeah, so for example, there are a bunch of other ones. I'll show you a few other ones that I think are quite good. Uh, so there's the Red Dead Redemption one here as well, uh, which looks pretty nice. We also have, for example, the Spider-Man theme as well is, is a pretty good one. And also, of course, God of War. There's also a Gold Hen theme, uh, which is kind of interesting. And uh, we also, of course, have the PS5 theme as well. So yeah, those are a few of the different ones available, but there's quite a few more there that you can try with this app. And of course, if you want to reset everything back to normal, just use the normal theme and apply it and that will reset everything back to normal. And then you just change the image back to one of the flow images to go back to normal. So that's how you do that right there. So now let's take a look at creating our own custom themes. So if we switch over here, back to the computer so what we want to do is first of all we've got this program called the ps4 toolset and this is by somebody called s and d tech i believe so we're going to copy this out to our computer right here extract the zip file this is quite a large application that has quite a few different kind of customization options for the ps4 including uh you know a full kind of custom theme creator an avatar changer and all of that kind of stuff. So, okay, so we have the PS4 tool set. So we're going to go ahead and run this application. You have to scroll down quite a bit. There's a lot of files in here till you find ps 4 win toolsetexe And this will run the PS4 tool set. So S and, yeah, so it's S and T tech um, or S and T. So the first thing you want to do is head to PS4 settings and make sure you enter the PS4's IP address here in the IP box. 
and 1337 as the port number and click the save button to save those settings. And then you can go to tools and go down to PS4 customization. And then this gives you quite a lot of customization options. So for example, you can even change stuff in the login screen. So you can change the logo, the PS4 logo to a different logo. You can just drag in another image in there. You can also change the startup messages when you first, you know, start up the PS4, you can change the messages if you want to be able to do that. Then you can replace them with whatever message you want. So you've got options there for the login screen, even a background music for the login screen as well. You can just add a, an MP3 file, I believe it will be. Yeah, MP3, you can add an MP3 file in there to change that. But what we're looking for mainly is the main menu. So this is the kind of custom theme section right here. So for example, if you want to change all of the icons to a specific color, you can just go to image color here and you can select a color. So if you want them all to be red to match like a Spider-Man theme or something, and then you can do apply style. And then you can see it applies them right there. It makes everything red. So that would go with a Spider-Man theme or something like that. So you can do that. If you just want to quickly change all of the icons to one specific color, you can do that. And of course, this has the option to do more colors. You can do, you know, RGB values or a hex code, hex color code. Then you can do that as well. You can change the opacity as well there. So it's got quite a few options there. However, if we just reset this back to white for now. So as an example, I do have my old PS5 theme. I did, I used this for another video where I was covering the regular custom themes. So I still have the files here for the, you know, the icons for the PS5 and the function icons. So I'll just use this as an example to create my own custom PS5 theme, permanent PS5 theme. So if you want to actually replace any of these images, then all you have to do is drag and drop. So I can drag and drop a PNG file over here to replace it. And we'll do this with all of the other files here. This one right here. And then of course I'll do the quick menu as well. We'll do, I'd only have a few icons for this, I suppose. And then of course, there's also the settings menu as well. I think these require smaller images though, because I've tried to replace these before with these images and they were too large or something. It was throwing an error. So I'm not going to bother adding any of those icons, but you get the idea. You can either just set them all to a specific color or replace the images completely with your own custom function icon images or settings images. So it's the same thing here with the lower menu, which contain your content apps as well. So if we go to content icons, I'll go ahead and add these. So we've got the browser, uh, we've got the gallery, we've got the live from PlayStation. I'm just using the 4K images for the PS4 Pro. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong one. That should be TV and video. And then folder, folder icon. And I don't really have anything for the PlayStation Store, so we'll just leave that one blank. I'm surprised it doesn't contain the other images for like the disk icon, the disk overlay icon. Um, there's a few icons that's missing like share play, USB music. Um, for some reason, it doesn't have those as an option, but maybe, maybe it'll be added at some point. So in addition to that, you also have sounds as well. So you can add background music. So your, your main menu music, as well as select, cancel and scroll sounds as well. So for the background music, I'm going to select from that PS5 theme, uh, the sound file. So it needs to be either an MP3 file or an 89 file. MP3, it will convert to an 89 automatically when you build the theme. And if you already have it in the PS4 format, which I do, which is 89, then you can just open that directly up. So then you've got the select and cancel noises. So I've got um, the decide, which is select, and then cancel, cancel, and scroll sounds which would be cursor. Now these are .vag files. So, you know, if you have a WAV file, you can convert it to a VAG in the fake package tools to get your select, cancel and scroll sounds, but they have to be very, very short sounds in order for them to, you know, to actually work on the PS4. If it's too long, it will not work. So finally, you've got background wallpaper. Um, I'm not entirely sure why this is included because it doesn't actually change the background. Uh, in on the actual theme but we'll add it anyway I suppose so we'll go into texture background so it needs to be a JPEG for whatever reason so I'll just rename this to we'll just rename this PNG to a JPEG just changing the extension so it recognizes it so I can open it up and then we've got system font as well so you can also add your own custom font if you want to have a custom font on there 
which needs to be an OTF font, not a TTF font. So let's go ahead and do that. I do actually have the fonts from my PS5 dump when I dumped the, the sandbox of the PS5. So there's, there's a bunch of PS5 fonts in here. So we'll just use this light font here. So again, it needs to be an OTF font and not a... I think there's other fonts that are like TTF or something. So it needs to be an OTF file. So we'll open that up there. And then we should be good. So once you've created your custom theme, there's kind of two ways to apply it. If you go into the options, you can either click the button here to update PS4, which will just write using FTP, it will write it to the PS4. Now I have had an issue with this though, when using a custom font, which is that it kind of messes the font up and after restarting the PS4, it still isn't fixed. So that's why I don't really use the update PS4 option. I would recommend you use the build custom theme option and then use the homebrew app to apply the theme. And that seems to work better. So I'm going to build custom theme and give it a name. I'm going to call it PS5. It's a PS5 theme and click OK. And then that should build it. So, OK, here's an error message. The new scroll sound file is more length than the original, which doesn't really make sense. But yeah, I assume it means that the that it's too long, like the audio is too long or the file size is too large. Doesn't really make sense, that error. I think it's a problem with the tool because, again, these files work fine in my own theme creator for the regular fake package themes. So I'm not sure why this would be having an issue with it, but we'll get rid of those anyway and uh, build custom theme again. PS5. Click OK. And hopefully this time it will successfully build the theme. Yep, there we go. Uploading sound files to PS4. So custom theme was successfully created. Do you want to open the path where the file was created? Click yes, and that will open up the file. So you now have this PS5 theme file. And what you want to do is copy this, go into your USB drive and create a new folder in the root of the USB drive called custom themes. And in that folder, you want to paste in that theme file that you just created. And that will get everything set up for the homebrew app. You then want to go ahead and get the homebrew app, which I'll link in the video description. You can get it from the homebrew store from packagezone.com. Again, I'll have it linked in the video description. Copy this homebrew app into the root of the USB drive as well. And then we can also make sure that you have the image, the background image as well that you want to use. So this one already has a PS5 one right here, but if you didn't have it, then create the images folder here on the root of your USB drive and copy the background image you want to use into that folder. And then we should be all good to go. So we can now eject the drive and plug it back into the PS4. Okay, so back on the PS4, it's time to apply that custom theme that we just created. So we're gonna go to settings, go to gold hen and go to package installer. And we're going to install the homebrew app for S and T tech, S and A T tech. I don't know, I, I get confused, but there we go. So we've got that installed PS4 tool set. So we're gonna run this. It's just S and T, but it's S, no, software apps and technology. That's what it stands for. Okay. So anyway, if we head down to custom theme and then we have PS5. So we're gonna select that theme because again, yeah, this will only show up if you created that custom themes folder on the root of the USB drive and put your custom theme file in that folder. Then it should show up here and we can just select X to install theme. And there we go. That should now be installed. That notification, probably due to the font. So once that's installed, we can then go ahead and close out of the tool set. And of course it recommends a restart and you can see why because none of the fonts or anything's loaded. Okay, so after the restart, you can see that it has loaded successfully. You can see the um, the PS5 apps there and the function menu is all loaded. Now, all we need to do is apply our background by going into themes, select theme, and we'll go to custom, select image, and from the USB storage device. And from the list, we will select our PS5 background image. And then I guess we can change this to, I don't know, maybe gray will work better with that one for the color. And there we go. As you can see, let's just add this to the homebrew folder. And there we go. You can see we now have our PS5 theme loaded here on the PS4. 
Now, obviously, the, the sounds, the scrolling sounds were not applied, so we still have the normal PS4 scrolling sound, but we do have the PS5 select sound. So when I select settings, you can hear that that is the PS5 select noise right there. Now, also, if I hold down the power button and go to the quick menu, you can see some of these icons are changed because we did change a couple of the icons on the quick menu that have changed. Now, one thing I'm noticing is there are still some of the old fonts showing up in here. Not entirely sure that why that is. Maybe I need to restart again. Uh, that is happening. Or maybe, maybe the app just didn't apply the font fully. But yeah, that's essentially permanent themes there. So let's go ahead and reboot just to prove that this is a, cust a permanent custom theme. Just like the other ones, they're all permanent. Okay, system is rebooting. So this is a complete boot up from scratch. And there you go. As you can see, the theme is still all applied just as before. It's all working just fine. So yeah, that's essentially how you can create your own custom themes and install some pre-made custom themes that are permanent and you are not going to lose when you reboot the PS4. And again, if you want to reset everything back to normal at some point, uh, just to create a clean slate, both tools op offer options to do that. So for example, in the PS4 tool set, you can go to options and you can go to reset customization and then that will apply it. Or you can go to the other tool here and just go to the normal tab and click all and that will apply that. Obviously you need to be running FTP, Orbis FTP, and then that should fix it. And then you can go to the fonts and apply the normal font as well. Reboot the PS4 and then everything will be back to normal. You'll still have your background image. So you'll just have to go back into the themes and then change the background image. Just, just remove the background image or select the normal flow background on the PS4 to reset everything back to normal. So yeah, it's to these are not permanent in the sense that you can't remove them. You can easily remove them. They're permanent in the sense that when you restart the PS4, the theme is still applied. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.